Hello, good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, make sure you subscribe and stick around. Each week I do a, like a nice long weekly family vlog and then on the weekends I try and do hauls and chats. Obviously at the moment in England we are in lockdown so um, it's more kind of like vloggy homey stuff because there's not many places or things we can do, but that's fine. I would like to know in the comments what you're up to, how are you feeling, how's homeschool going, how are you keeping safe. Full disclaimer, I'm wearing smart and makeup and tracksuit bottoms because that, my friends, is how I roll these days. Um, I made a promise, I don't know if I put it on here or if I don't know, put it on Instagram, that every week when I'm in the house, I'm gonna try and do something nice for the house, whether it be like sort a drawer, um, sort my wardrobe, order a lampshade, just something once a week so I feel like I'm doing uh, something nice and worthwhile and in the bedroom I have finally hung some pictures and I'm going to show you them you. I absolutely love them and this is quite different because usually Stephen is not bothered about um, what we put up but this time I kind of like sat down and had a little bit of a chat to him about what he thought we would want over the bed and I really like it. Here we go, Ooh, I absolutely love it. So these are from Desenio and Desenio actually asked me to pick some prints and in the description there's an offer for you to get some money off and I'll leave all the details and I'll put on here like the code but I'll show you what posters we chose. So I chose places that we love that we've been to that mean a lot to us. Um, so obviously you know we love New York. Um, we went to San Francisco when we were newlyweds all those many years ago. We adore London. We've been on so many lovely holidays with the kids. And also Copenhagen is a really special place for us. And I think just because both of us are really missing travelling, I just thought this would really look nice. And then we can add to it um, when we go to new places or perhaps we could put, have a little look, we could put um, some different pictures up from each place we've been to. Yeah, so these are from Desenio. They have got thousands of different posters. Also, we ordered them to come with the frames. And why I love them is because the frames actually fit the size of the poster. So you can type what frame you want in, and then it'll come up with all the posters with that size. And um, we have gone for like um, a beach. Uh, they've got white, uh, they've got black, all sorts of different types of things. Um, but we, I just think it looks really nice and it just reminds me of very happy times and hopefully we'll be able to go travelling soon. Desenio ships all over the world, so if you're watching this not in England, you can get posters. Um, I did this like little gallery wall myself, but there's actually like something on there where you can um, work out what gallery would work best for your house, like your living room. So, oh, I just love it. Also, if you're looking for something for like the new year, maybe for your office, um, they also have got some really nice wall calendar prints. So this is gonna go up in my office. Of course, you could get, you could have it in a frame or I might just um, stick this up with some like washi tape so I can circle it. But yeah, that'll look really cool up there. So yeah, thanks so much to Senio. I absolutely love your prints. You've got them all over the house. Um, I will leave below the offer, put it up here as well in the description box. Make sure you go and check it out. They've got all sorts of different things. So like they've got art prints, they've got maps, they've got loads of great sayings. And we have the sayings up in some of the other rooms, which I love and loads of really fab kids stuff as well. So yeah, that is my first little vlog task done can't wait to get crack on with some other things right let's get on with the rest of the day we've actually changed the homeschool set up a little bit because i don't know if you um <laughs> you don't have to pause it's fine i don't know if you are um homeschooling more than one kid if you are homeschooling um as i mentioned last time the kids aren't great at sitting at the same table so we had erin in the front room but then ethan finishes before erin because he starts up. anyway it's a whole thing so We've got a little fold-up desk, um, and Erin is doing the work in here, which means you can listen to the music, can't you? And it's just a bit more chilled, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So eventually, because if you, um, you might remember, we, we, we actually got rid of her desk, and then we, we, we realised we were in homeschool and we needed it, so 
we're looking i think we'll probably get rid of this and we're looking for something there aren't we as like a little yeah. bit small but this is good for the moment isn't it yeah I got because i think bellas, like, yeah you got the better i think in the last video you were doing stuff maybe on the coffee table so this is much better so high five get on with your work what are you doing i'm making a comic strip oh a comic strip very cool. What store are you reading? Um, Oranges in No Man's Land. Oranges in No Man's Land. Mm. So that's what she's doing. Let's go and see what the boys are doing. I hear shouting. We've had a bit of a disaster this morning, which hopefully will be fixed by the time you see this. But Stephen, um, Stephen accidentally um, spilt nail varnish remover on his laptop. Did you get it? What's how's where is it? What's happening? It's drying out. It's drying out. Where is it? It was drying out over here. I won't. I won't ask for people's help because by now, you will have hopefully fixed it. Where is it drying out? Oh, in here. So yeah, he was taking nail varnish off because Erin loves like nail um, putting nail varnish on because now she's at school she can wear nail varnish and like jazzy earrings and like she's fully embracing that. So Stephen was helping take the nail varnish off. Accidentally knocked it all over. So it's currently waiting for it to dry, so I will let you know. Hopefully it gets fixed. And I'm sure you're all screaming, put it in rice. That's what people do. Put, I don't know how much rice you'd need to dry out a laptop. Rice? Yeah, they say, they say put it in rice. So, but I'm sure you're all screaming. Sadly, it has ruined my tablecloth. So we're going to have to get a new tablecloth. But then, do you know what? I'm going to say something positive. If this hadn't have been on here... Yeah, oh my gosh, it could have ruined the new table and then I really would have been across. So we'll, so we'll have to get... We don't usually have tablecloths, this is a new one. Maybe that was maybe that was a sign, so hopefully it will sort itself out. Ethan's doing English, he's doing St George and the Dragon and he's doing in, in his villa kit. Good morning, it's Saturday. Um, I thought I'd show you a bit about what we get up to on a Saturday morning. Now if you follow us on Instagram, you will see there is flies. One of my plants have got flies me angrily shouting at my plants um so i thought i'd show you what we get up to on a saturday morning uh update on steven's computer spoke <laughs> so he um i did buy him for christmas i can't remember if i mentioned this i did buy him for christmas like a little um add-on keyboard thing so he has been managed to use that but yeah it's broke anyway this is a saturday morning on saturday morning ethan generally gets up between six and a half six and I get up with him and I come down and make a cup of tea. And my favourite mug, apart from my own mugs, and by the way, new mugs come and sit. See how dark it is? So if you are not from England, this is how dark it is. Uh, currently, it's what time is it now, Ethan? Come and tell the time for me. Look at that clock. What time does it say? What clock? That clock there. Oh. So we got up at half six and now it's half... Seven. Seven. So look how dark it is. Um... My favourite mug is this Zen Raiden mug. I love the way these Raiden mugs, which they don't do in England anymore for some reason, and feel so nice on your mouth. But yeah, there's two new mugs coming soon. Um, so that's good. I kind of uh, approved those yesterday because it takes quite a long time. You have to, I have to have like a meeting with a designer who's called Josie and she's absolutely lovely. Um, and like as in like a virtual meeting, not a face-to-face -face meeting. Who remembers them? Um, then she mocks up a few designs and pick up the design she likes or change it. Then she gives that, then I have to give it to the mug people. We have to get the things called the Pantones, which is like the colours. It's a whole thing. But yeah, two mugs coming your way soon. Um, so half seven in the morning. Stephen go, Stephen's still asleep, Erin's still asleep. I like to light a candle. I like like a, are you still looking at the clock? No, it's just, it is just, just before. Um, and today's candle of choice is Yankee Candle Belgian Waffles. And the um, diffuser thing that I use in the living room, the electronic diffuser, I've gone for Mickey Waffles, haven't I? Yeah. Because I like to make cinnamon buns. And I'll show you what, so you'd be like, Emma, it's early in the morning. Surely you're just snuggling and watching a film. Surely your little boy is just chilling and relaxing. No, we're crafting. <laughs> crafting, he's crafting. Oh, he's bringing all his crafts in. So first of all, he drew bugs that he didn't like, including my favourite, which was this one. 
which is, oh, I can't get to it, which is fly on a cup, which is the most annoying of all books. I do so. Oh, yeah, I hang on. Give me an idea. Oh, I gave him an idea for... What's that one, sorry? The, the, the book's in plan. <laughs> And now he's drawn the most annoying of all bugs. Bugs in plants. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and we have also doing now, um, he's doing some clay. So there's two types of clay that we have. This is um, Ethan's clay. This is air dry clay and he got it for Christmas. It's really cool. You just make the thing. We get a cut you made, dude. And you just see the balloon. Yeah, and the caterpillar and the cinnamon. You make it and you just leave it out and it dries. So I'll leave a link below. Um, so this is really good, but you just have to make sure. Look at these. And, this, and also, and also. this is a cinnamon bun. That's like one of our cinnamon buns. Oh, yeah, it comes with an instruction book, so that's good news. And he made a caterpillar. So you just make it and you leave it to dry. And, and, and look at this little mouth. Oh, look at his little mouth, it's so cute. But what I will say is if you've got little ones, you have to make sure you put them back in the little bags, so otherwise so it will so all dry. So you get them in the little bags. Yeah, don't open, open it, don't open it, Duke, yeah, don't yeah, worry. You open it. Yeah. And then... Oh, and you put them in these bags. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Because of it and then you put the rest in yes 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 so we don't want it to all dry do we that would be terrible and then we've also got this set which is proper clay now this is clay you have to put in the oven, oven. and it comes with these this clay yeah loads of little tools and, and i this bought one comes with this little tools and i bought some key rings so they can make key rings so yeah you're like emma you're just chilling out relaxing or maxing or cool no no my friends we're crafting at half past seven in the pitch black. Right, I'm gonna go and finish my cup of tea and I'm gonna try and watch a bit of Teen Mom whilst you're doing this. Oh, hang on, he's got one more thing he wants to show you. What are you showing? This, this one. Oh, sorry, yes, this also comes with an instruction book, and, so that's and, good. And, and this. Oh yeah, and he's made an Among Us character. And Stephen. Also, and also. <laughs> Amazing yeah, so Stephen guys. and Erin and Ethan and some of their little friends which they FaceTime have been making Among Us characters. Let's have a look, just move your hand. There you go. The bully. I don't know what this means, but it looks good to me. Well, high those five. Are the characters. Oh, they're the characters. High five. Bye. Okay, so the big one is up. She is snuggled on the couch with a blanket. And um, what we like to watch the three of us, because uh, Stephen has a, a lion on a Saturday. What we like to watch is we like to watch Million Dollar Listing because I don't really want to watch cartoons in the morning. They don't really want to watch, you know, I don't want them to watch adult stuff with the kids, am I? So we watch um, Million Dollar Listing, which is a happy medium. So if you have got, put it over here in the light, it's still really dark, isn't it? If you've got like, um, Amazon Prime, you can get Hey You, and it's got all the Real Housewives. Million Dollar Listen, there's no swears. It's just them looking around nice fancy houses in New York, and we live New York. So, um, do you know what, I'm gonna shut this so I don't disturb the kitchen door. There we go, they don't wanna hear me. Me going around and talking, so I've shut the door. Also picked up my cup because when I make the breakfast, it's when I make my second cup of tea of the morning. I like to have a two cups of Tea and an orange juice on a Saturday morning. So um, if you do follow me on Instagram, you will know on a Saturday we make the cinnamon swirls by Just Roll, or if we can't get them delivered, we do the um, pan of chocolate ones, which are also really nice. So what I do is, you can get these in the like fridgy bit of the shop. This is not an ad. I mean, I use these all, I use these every, I would have it every day. Um, you can cut it into six, but as we are a family of four, we just have four big ones. So I'll show you how to make them. They're really, really easy. Um, what I will say is I do, you do get like a bit of ice and sugar with it. Na, na, na. 
you need some extra icing sugar. You need some extra. So I add extra icing sugar. And what also we do is the bowl with the icing sugar in. Ethan has it. And he like licks all the icing sugar out. But it's like our Saturday morning tradition. Um, so what you do is you just, this is so satisfying. Ready? I'm not gonna be able to do it now. Come on, Emma. Come on. <laughs> yes, you pop it out and then you just cut it. So I'll show you what it looks like on the tray. It, it is so simple, but the children love it so much. And we've been doing it right since the start of the first lockdown. So we've had it like every breakfast since the last March. Not every breakfast, every Saturday. So right, let's show you. Oh, another thing that I do on a Saturday is the shopping comes on a Friday night. Stephen gets it delivered quite late. Um, so usually I'm in bed and then he just shoves it in like this. Di ding So I'm going to go through and tidy that up a little bit um, whilst I'm waiting because, man, that's out of control. Zada, so much better. Stephen, give me an award for being the best organiser of the cupboard, please. So that's much better and actually really geekily got out what we're going to have for lunch and uh, we'll have some soup today um we're still trying to get rid of like things like that we got for christmas so there's like a random bake well so i thought we'll get that and somebody can have that with their lunch and like ritz biscuits so I'm trying to get through bits and pieces um but the Cinnamon buns are doing well. I'm just going to go and then I'm going to tidy up the fridge as well. Ta da! So they come out really nice here. So we do it in the fall. In fact, they've gone a bit wild this time. So I'm going to pop them on the plate over here. We usually have strawberries with it. Um, we didn't get any straw sent with our shopping. I think, in fact, there's quite a few bits and pieces missing uh, this week. So we will, we might have to do a little essential food run so i'm gonna pop those on there now there we go my friends the four cinnamon buns put loads of icing on blueberries usually we have strawberries as well um so this is like half eight in the morning this is when we have usually we've eaten far earlier than this but we managed to wait on saturday Stephen usually gets up when he hears that the cinnamon buns have done um and then he eats these has a shower and goes on a bike ride so right, I'm going to take these through to the little kiddies. Eating the breakfast, the kids are still eating theirs. They take ages because they like, lick all the ice and I'm like, ah. Um, so the next thing I do on the Saturday is just go into the little utility room, which I'm hoping to do in the next couple of weeks um, and check that. And these towels dry. <gasps> dry it takes ages it takes ages for your towels to dry so the towels are dry so i can put those away and then we can get another load of washing on but yeah cut some more lids i'm literally in a cupboard <laughs> uh so i might see if steven this weekend will fill this bit up here i'd quite like that to be changed for a new one because it's a bit grubby and yeah, I want this to be painted, but it shouldn't take too long to paint it, should it? Because it's only litter. I could probably paint it myself, actually. It's only small, but it is very cold in here. My cupboard under the stairs. Uh, so, yeah, that, so I'll get some more washing on. Um, and then after that, I go around and check on all my plants, which I'm not going to do for you, because hopefully you'll have seen my plant video. If you haven't seen my plant video, go and check it out. But I am going to have a chat with you, so hang on. Hello, this section's entitled Emma in her pyjamas. She hasn't brushed her hair yet. Um, so I thought I'd have a chat because I've been a and an hour about what to put on this channel. Uh, like I've done some organization, I did the speed cleaning and stuff like that. But I think from reading the comments, most of you just like chatty videos. Obviously at the moment, um, I'm not going to Poundland and Home Bargains and all that kind of good stuff that I love to do. Um, we're just pretty much staying at home, going for a walk every day, and you can see how I'm just snuggling down with the blanket. Going for a walk every day, just doing homey things. So I think what I'm going to do for the next 
few weeks certainly, probably up until half term is every Wednesday and Sunday I'll just upload like a vlog, like a weekly vlog, so it might be like something like this where I show you um, a Saturday morning or let me know if you want me to show you like a homeschool day, how we organise that. Uh, I might show you something that we've done with one of the rooms, just, just a vloggy, just a nice vloggy video, I hope that's okay. Uh, just chatty and just, you know, everyday life. But So let me know what kind of stuff you would love to see. Would you like to see more homeschooling? Would you like to see me talking about clothes or routines or whatever? But I will put them within a vlog. I hope that makes sense. So there we go. Right, my loves, I'm going to go and get ready for the day and I'll see you in a bit. Hello, it's Sunday. This is the last little bit of the video. Stephen has uncharacteristically asked me to help him organise something. So we are organising the shed. Uh, I'll show you what we've done. Well, we haven't done anything, what he's done so far. He's got out all the bits and pieces. So I'll, shall I go through the kiddies stuff? And then, oh my gosh, <laughs> just when we thought there was no more mugs, well these can definitely go upstairs, can't they? Um, and then we need to sort this out, there's shelving in here, this was just came with the house. Um, so I am going to go through the kids stuff and then I suggest we have, I thought, paint there and maybe gardening stuff. We do kids maybe here, maybe then I can we, get to it. Can we um, um, play with the toys? You can play with the toys, yes, 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 you can play with the toys. Go on then. Right, so let's try this now then. So in our shed, I like to have boxes. Are you excited? Oh, Ethan, Ethan's found the bubbles. Come on then, blow the bubbles. Oh, try not to get it on your coat. I like to have stuff in the shed that they can get out and just do outside, so like paint brushes. Um, and stuff like that. I will say that this shed isn't perhaps as waterproof or so I'm going to keep everything in these plastic tubs. Ethan's thrilled. Chalk as well. Found some good bits and pieces. They can go to the home schools. I've got some card and some stickers and some tissue paper. Ethan is thrilled with the bubbles so I'm going to take this back in. Stephen is carrying on and we've got kids and then he's got paint here but it is freezing today, isn't it, Stephen? Yeah. So I think what we'll do is we're just going to tidy it up. This is the most unsuccessful you lot watching a come organise with me. But maybe we'll do it again, like in spring, and do a prop one and get everything out and clear it. And it's just, it's quite damp, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite a damp one, but um, yeah. Oh my gosh, it was so cold. So very, very cold. So yeah, I know that um, some of you are keen on seeing the garden, and I bought my, this is my one of my um, things I took from my nan's house, and it was in the shed, and now the upstairs is sorted. It's just like a random old chair that can go uh, in the office upstairs for like, extra chairs if we need it for anything. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I think in the spring, when the weather's a bit nicer, we will do like a full, like garden, tour, like everything at the moment is just dead. <laughs> so when the flowers start to come back and we'll do like a proper shed thing. Uh, any ideas for shed storage, leave them below. Um, it is quite an old shed and it is quite damp. So Stephen's thinking of a new shed. Nothing excites Stephen more than a new shed. Um, also, Stephen today, uh, thanks so much if you watched the plant video. He went, um, he went to go and get um, some food shopping and he brought me back this pineapple plant. I've had one of these before and it died, so I will keep you posted on how that does. Yeah, thanks so much if you commented on the um, plant video and if you've bought any plants since you've watched it or let me know about your plant journey below. So that's it for this week's little vlog. I will be back in another few days for another vlog, um, which will be more homey stuff um i have got a few deliveries coming soon or i've been collecting like stuff that i've ordered like from etsy like short small shop stuff so um i will be able to show you some of that as well so i'll love you lots let me know how you're doing in the comments i hope you stay safe and i'll see you soon bye